Hey, what's up you guys? Bloody Jacob here. Just got out of seeing Borderlands. This is my out of theater reaction. Trying it stitched together for my regular review. Um, I am not someone who had a personal connection to Borderlands. I literally went in with uh, being a big fan of Cate Blanchett and wanting to see her in just the type of movie it is, essentially. And I'll be honest, I feel pretty content with going in with uh, that want and that mentality. Um, it looks pretty good. I, I don't play the games a whole lot, uh, but it looks pretty accurate to that. You can definitely tell it was filmed as an R movie, though. There is still, like, a kinetic, like, feel and pacing to it, but you can definitely tell it was shot as an R movie. And the rest of the casting around Kate Blanchett is hit and miss. But do I think it's the new worst movie ever? No, not at all. I actually kind of liked it. Um, but even then, Learna just seems obsessed with making every movie either a masterpiece or the new, like, biggest trash we've ever seen on screen and i think that's just been uh, pretty tiresome lately but uh yeah i'll let you know more and tying into my general review of the movie uh really my biggest uh you know negative with the film is just that it's you know pg-13 again it was clearly filmed as an r-rated movie um would it have been better as an r-rated movie yes would it have been better had uh, Craig Mazin's uh, you know, original script not been, uh, you know, turned over and sideways however many times it was? Probably. <laughs> uh, would it have been better if uh, you got Eli Roth and didn't completely trim down what you're getting Eli Roth for? Yes. <laughs> but that being said, uh, I, I can't deny I still had a good time with it. Um, I still, like I said, felt like it had like a good you know energy and sort of that chaotic vibe to it you'd uh, expect going in which again would have been uh, bolstered by an R rating but I don't want to talk about that for the whole video um it still had like a flair to it and a vibe to it and uh you know like sure some things you know felt like they could have been a little more honed in on I'm sure there are details that were more fleshed out you know initially on the screenplay um but at the same time I think the pacing sort of having like that go, 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 you know, uh, you know, uh, vibe to it and, you know, just the way it, you know, flowed, I think really worked, you know, in the style of, uh, of the film. Um, like I said, my main concern going in and my main, uh, want going in was just to enjoy Kate Blanchett in a movie like this. Um, I don't really have any attachment to Borderlands. I played one of the games years ago, um, and I never, I never thought it was meant to be like a, a video game series with a lot of heavy story or lore or anything like that. I understand there's probably more to it, um, but at the same time, it was clearly always marketed as you know multiplayer, violence, chaos, guns. You know <laughs> that that was the main selling point of the game. Um, and again, I think they captured the feel of the world from what I remember and what I've seen pretty well and the look of it, the aesthetic and everything. I think they, I think they almost nailed it there. Um, and uh, Kate Blanchett, she is a lot of fun to watch in this movie. Um, I, you know, she's one of the best actors of our, of our time. Um, and I, I think uh, Lilith is meant to be a little younger in the video games. I know people have uh, whined <laughs> about that quite a bit. Um, but they, they incorporate it into uh, Blanchett's portrayal of Lilith, um, you know, fairly early on, and I think it kind of works with her, her entire character's persona, you know, and kind of being a bit, uh, you just threw it already at this point. I think it works. Um, but like I said in my uh, out of theater reaction, everyone around Kate Blanchett is just a little bit off. <laughs> Aside from uh, Gina Gershon and her brief role, who I would like to have seen more of her and uh, Kate Blanchett on screen together. From Jack Black, who voiced uh, Claptrap, though, especially early on, he's just giving uh, Lilith or uh, Kate Blanchett shit. And uh, I, I quite enjoyed their dynamic and uh, almost wanted more of it, honestly. Um, but yeah, Blanchett definitely holds it up, and uh, Black's voice is nice to have. Uh, Kevin Hart does not really work as Roland. It definitely has a vibe of like an Idris Elba sort of role. <laughs> Or, you know, someone a little bit more, at least, imposing, <laughs> okay? Um, maybe even, like, a Terry Crews if he still wanted to go that route. I, I don't know. Just, uh, Kevin Hart just seems like a bizarre choice. Uh, I am not a big fan of Jamie Lee Curtis. This is probably the most tolerable I've seen her in a while. 
but something's not quite right with her either. Um, and just everyone else is just sort of there for me. Um, but again, what I wanted going in was uh, an entertaining kind of off off the wall zany, you know, sci-fi dystopian Kate Lynch had action movie. And uh, going out, I feel solidly content that I got that. Um, I'm sure it wasn't as all out as it was meant to be, but again, I feel content with uh, what I wanted. And clearly that's not what most people wanted. Um, but, you know, seeing as some of its parts, I liked it. I did. And I just don't get the internet's trend and obsession over the past while of everything new that comes out either having to be the new worst movie they've ever seen, which, see more movies please, or everything is a masterpiece and you're, you're uh, an idiot for not getting it. There's very little middle ground lately, and I think that's just very, very concerning and just, eh, just hilarious in all the wrong ways. But, uh, yeah. If I'd rate it, I'm giving it like a B minus. I really don't think it was that bad. Um, you know, again, there are obvious things that could have been done. There, were, there was obviously a lot of interference that uh, took away from whatever else this movie could have been. But I enjoyed it fairly well. It is not. You know, it's not the abomination it's being made out to be. I would like to have seen what else they were going to do with it, but that's obviously not going to happen now. So I'll just take it as a kind of odd Kate Blanchett one-off that, that it probably now is. So uh, yeah, I'll know what you guys thought about it. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and peace.